affordable, easy, and quick. Those are the attributes that you're looking for when you're thinking about getting a pop-up camping bathroom. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. The pop-up bathroom that I use is the Pop-Up Shelter by Wolfwise. This is a pretty generously spaced pop-up tent offering a 47.2 inch square bottom and a 74.8 inch peak height. Setting up the Wolfwise pop-up tent is really, really fast. There's a tensioning strap that comes around it after you take it out of the bag and this tent just pops out. Once it's flat like this, you just Open it up, flip it up, and you're ready to go. It just pops right up. There's braided straps sewn into each of the four corners and tent stakes provided, so don't forget to stake it down. Each of the corners offers a braided loop located about three quarters of the way up. This is for you to attach your guy rope, and this is a really critical step because pop-up tent structures have small, narrow bases with a lot of height, which means they're very susceptible to wind. So you're going to want to use the guy out points. One important thing to keep in mind when you're setting up this privacy shelter is that you don't want to really pull on these ropes so that they're really tight because that's going to impact how smoothly the zipper operates on the front door. So when you're putting your guy lines in, you just want to have this nice and taut, but not overly tightened. Now that we've got the shelter staked down, it's time to put on the rain fly. Now this could be a little challenging if you're on the shorter side like me, but I'm five foot two. So if I can do it, you can do it. When I'm securing the rain fly, I take these elastic loops, grab the hook that's on the end, gently pull it down into position and then I take this hook and I actually pass it through the braided loop and hook it from underneath so that way it holds this rain fly in position and now it's time to secure the floor how the floor connects in my opinion is a pretty big oversight they do offer elastic pulls I would have liked to see the same plastic hook on this pull and another braided loop on the inside of each corner. Instead, what you have to do is take these elasticized loops, pass them under the corner of the tent and put them around the same stakeout point as the main structure. I would have liked to see an independent suspension for the floor, but that seems to be a pretty minor oversight. The interior of the tent is coated with a reflective fabric, which is a critical feature that you should look for when you're purchasing a pop-up shelter. And the reason for that is that this reflective coating significantly reduces silhouettes so that when you're soaping up, nobody's the wiser. This shelter features two window vents, one down low and one up high. Now, these vents do not have a mesh on them. They can reach through both of these vents. I would have preferred to see a screen on these because when I'm taking a shower, I really don't want to invite mosquitoes in here to bite me. Now, the top that you can see here there is a mesh, so you don't have to worry about any creepy crawlies coming in from the top. There is a storage caddy pocket on the right-hand side of the tent, which is fairly large so that you can fit your loofah or your soap or any other materials, or even I put a roll of toilet paper in here when I'm using it as a bathroom function. It's really super handy. The Wolfwise Privacy Shelter also has this braided clothesline, which is really handy for keeping your towel. The shelter features a roll up door, which is really nice because after you're done showering, you can roll this door up to let it completely vent out and dry back out before you switch it back to being your bathroom. So how do I rate the Wolfwise Privacy Shelter? This is actually a fairly decent shelter. There's a couple of features that I would have liked to have seen. Number one, I would have liked to see mesh 
on the vents. I don't want to vent and open up and allow mosquitoes in to get me. Number two, I wish that there were some hooks on the bottom of the floor that you could easily hook on the inside, which would make getting the floor in and out a whole lot easier. And number three, I wish that there were some loops sewn in up near the top on the inside, so that way I could hang my shower more effectively instead of having to loop it around that galvanized steel frame that's in there. But other than that, this is a pretty decent structure. I'm really happy with it, and I hope that you will be too. Hey, if you want to see my total camping bathroom set up with my toilet and my shower, then I want you to go ahead and click on this video, and I'll see you over on that one.